Uh, yeah, I think Viva Wack's the horse to, to be on, although this race is a hot race. It's either Viva Wack or anyone, I reckon. Mm. How does he look to you, Kate? Is he, is he ready to win first up? I think so. It looks like he's done plenty of work. His trials have been excellent. Uh, he's drawn well. He's not drawn in where he's going to be dictated to. So he's drawn in the middle. So Craig Williams has a little bit of breathing space, you could say. And uh, he looks like he's had done plenty of work. Never runs a bad race. We know he came here first up in the spring and blew them away in the vein. Now, that's not as strong as just his ball of muscle. Look, he's a remarkable horse. He really is. Uh, that group one's eluded him, but uh, he's capable. He is capable, and he loves the track rock hard. So he gets that in his favour today. Uh, he's trolled well. He always does. He's just such an honest old horse, isn't he? he oh, he's a wonderful horse. He's won four group twos and four group threes. He's... He's so reliable. He's an ageing horse, but one that uh, probably has held his ability. Zatori, gee, he's a classy horse. He was so good first up. Jamie Carr's got a real chance here, I reckon. Mm, I think he's got an engine, this horse. He's a real strong type. He carries a lot of weight in that midsection. Uh, I think he'll improve from the run, but he is just a stocky horse. He's, you've got to have him on in the first four. This horse has got a remarkable first up record. The last two years, this horse has been over in Dubai winning at Maidan, mm. uh, Fatana, but I don't think he's a group one horse here. No, I don't, but the only thing is he, he does go very well fresh. He's won six from eight first up, so that holds him in good stead. Bonds away was fifth in the race two years ago and fourth in the race last year. He's never far away, but he doesn't win very often, does he? He's second up here. His first up run behind Jungle Edge was, was sound, but I can't see him winning this. Crystal Dreamer won the Heath here over 1,100 in the spring. He beat G-Trail and Ball of Muscle. That's pretty good form. It is. Very good form. He's, he's a very honest galloper. He does love Caulfield. He's won a few here, including four from 13, so... He'll be on the speed. Trope, look, he's got so much talent. He's had bad draws. He's only won one race. That was on debut. He's a class one horse, but he's always a chance. He's still an entire, this boy, and he's carrying 52 and a half kilos. And you know those lightweights in a sprinting field, they, they can always... You can always give him a chance. No, he's, he's capable of doing anything. He's got a big finish, hasn't he? Mm. But... Uh, He's just taking a while to get that second win, that is for sure. Um, Alan Bell, of course, the Scalacci fame. He won this Futurity a couple of times. He's all too royal, very capable. He's good at the trip and he's a good call for horse. There's a lot of horses in the same boat, isn't there, Bruce? You could, you know, I think it's going to be a really good race because of that. It's so open and all too royal. He likes the track nice and firm. Uh, he's having a, a great preparation. His run in the Rubicon was good. 273 days since Anjana's had a run, but she's a very good fresh horse. She swaps stables from the Price Stable to Lindsay Smith. Mm, you've got to respect that stable, don't you? They, Lindsay gets them prepared pretty, pretty good for first up runs, but I want to see her, her here today after a long time off. Voltstar meets Anna Heed three kgs better for a closing second at last start. Mm, he does. He looks good too. He looks like he's on the toes, ready to go. Uh, he's had a bit of a long preparation, but very well placed and yeah, you, I, I, he's in my top four. Gordon Richards, the trainer, of course, had the big day with G-Tra. His first group one at an elderly age, to be true. Look, Fine Dane's a good sprinter. I, I would um, be shocked. Mm, Bo Merton's looking for his first group one. What about Halverson? Your brother's ridden this horse he's, quite a few times. He's a good horse. He's his favourite horse. He's so consistent. Is the type of horse that needs to be switched off. He's got a very electri electrifying turn of foot, good acceleration. So if he can get the speed on and he can get the brakes, I think he can run a place. Hummer Hummer, she's a big finisher, isn't she? She is. She's a good man. She's down in the weight. She's drawn well. William Pike comes over from the west and uh, Johnny McArdle knows how to get one ready for a group one. Yeah, no, not without some sort of a hope, that is for sure. Uh, Mystico, well, picnics about, what, about two years ago, <laughs> just the most honest galloper, yes. but this would be a shock. It, it would be a shock, but I tell you, there's been bigger shocks today, hasn't <laughs> there? Tiffy, well, Linda Meacher, I think both Jamie Carr and Linda Meacher got a chance. She's a flying mm, horse, isn't she? She is a flying machine. I'd imagine that she'd lead. She's, she's She'll be got, right there. She's got the speed too. What about Anna Heed? Well, Anna Heed from that barrier, it's just going to make it a little bit tough for her, but she's down in the way. It's 51 kilos on her back. She's got to give her a massive chance after her strong Rubicon victory. She's a big, big hope. She's a class filly. You've got to be a good filly to win, but she's as good as Miss Kornikova, who had more weight than her. She can win. She won a 
a Group 2 and then a Percy. So I actually think Free Adet has got a massive chance. He was third in the Blue Diamond. He then went to the Golden Slipper, hurt himself. He was good behind Super Seth. He was. He's, he is a really honest galloper, isn't he? He's a lovely colt. And uh, Craig Newitt, great to see Craig Newitt back in Melbourne. And Vane Stream is at any old odds. We go to points bet for the Oakley Plate to Brett, to you, Brett Finch. Uh,